no. <laughs> it's quite difficult. Oh my God, go this way. She's going to get it right now. She's going to get it right now. Amigo para las que sea. Mi amigo para las que sea. Full time, full time. Mi amigo para las que sea. Good afternoon from Bogota. Colombia. Ta has figured out what we're gonna do today. So there's a couple things that are really common and local to do on a Sunday here. And actually the streets are really quiet right now. Yeah. Which I am high, I'm really surprised on how quiet it's the streets so are. It's so crazy that on Sunday, even some street, they shut down the whole street from like early in the morning to 2 p.m. just for people to ride a bicycle and run. Like they shut down the whole road. A lot of people in Bogota, all the cities in Colombia, people are very active. Yeah. They have actually uh, just gotten rid of Uber in Bogota, in Colombia, all across the country. So there's no more Uber. So we can't use Uber anymore. But instead, we download the app called Beat and Capify. So Capify is basically local taxis using the app, like an Uber app or just a ride-sharing app, but for local taxis. Where Beat is basically a ride-sharing app like Uber that people can use their personal cars to pick you up and take you where you want to go. And it's way cheaper than Uber. That is the benefit. But like, I don't know if it's like takes so long today to call any driver because it's Sunday or not. I'm not sure. Today we are going to go to the downtown of Bogota and they call it 7th Avenue. Oh the ride is 8,000. Huh? For 24 minutes? Yeah. 8,000 for 24 minute ride. Wow, guys. So it's like, like $2? That is way better than Uber in terms of price. When I look at that at first, it seems like it's a parking spot, but it's not. This <laughs> is traffic jam, guys. The thing is that here in Bogota, you see security everywhere with the Police dog. everywhere. Yeah. There's with like the security with machine guns standing at that door. Is that door. a security or policia? Uh, I think that's security. Can I? That's policia. Policia. Gracias. Que estén bien. Gracias. Bueno. The weather is nice today, Jim. You think it's hot? It's really nice. It's like a spring or fall weather in New York. Uh, but it does get quite cold here. We've noticed, I mean, most of the time I'm in a hoodie and jeans. Today I'm in shorts and a short sleeve, so it's really nice. Yeah, and a couple of days ago it was raining. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, uh, during the time that we were here, we realized that the temperature and the weather condition in Bogota fluctuate a lot yeah all we need is snow and we got all four seasons in four days yes <laughs> that is what happened here in Bogota well, we are right here at Plaza de Bolivia right no what is it uh, to me, I don't think I would be better though. What is it? Plaza de Bolivar. It's pretty loud because there are a lot of street food here. Look at guys, the architecture is Amazing. stunning. The main cathedral, I believe, is open. You can go inside as I well if you, you want to. So there's tons of street food. There's tons of activities. The kids are so cute walking around, blowing bubbles and chasing the birds. Is it pigeon too? Yeah, it's a pigeon. Okay, and there are so many of them. At first, I was wondering why there are so many of them like feeding. hanging out. But it seems like people here love feeding the bird. That is my first impression here for sure. <laughs> This is like the festival going here. on. There's so many people. Right now we are standing at 7th Avenue. 
The street is full of different artists, sunglass sellers, like all different people selling different things. Like it's just there are so many examples out there, and you pick sunglasses. Well, seller. I just literally looked right oh, there, and you okay. sell sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> and people walking the llama is really, really interesting. I've never seen a llama before until no, I came. No, this to is Columbia. my first time seeing llama in my whole entire life. You can There's see so many llama animals. here. I know they have such a cute face, and I don't want to ride it. <laughs> here in Colombia, if you love corn, if you love fruits, avocados, you can find those those stuff easily. Yeah. Steve, how to say how much in? Uh, Cuánto es? Cuánto es? Uh, hola. Cuánto es? Cinco mil. Five fifty thousand. Oh, five thousand. I was like, oh, fifty thousand. And she gave me two for free. Oh. Gracias. Hello, we are loading up right now. <laughs> We're buying all this lady's fruit. This is what happens when you stay open late. The whole market closes. No entiendo nada. She doesn't understand anything. Because either do I. Me no understand. So we just got all these mangoes, all of these uh, fruit that I forget the name of. They look like cherries, but that's not what she said. And the these orange things, probably clementines or whatever you call those. What do you call these? What fruit is this? Orange. Orange. No? Sure. Clementines. Clement. Yeah, whatever. A clementine. And how much was that? All of it. Twelve thousand pesos. Twelve thousand pesos for all that yummy fruit. Oh, no. Minus that. <laughs> I still got some. Avocados are actually everywhere because I absolutely love guacamole and avocados. Guacamole, yeah. Every meal you buy here, you get an avocado. Those street performers are so, so cute. cute. Did you film them? Yeah. <laughs> Try it. So good. It's like cheese and a dough, like a fried dough with cheese. It's really good. Oh, it's so good. Mm. It's incredible. And it's only 2,000. I told you it's cheese. No. No. Tequeño. 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 Very good. It feels really, really safe down here as well. Like it is. Yeah, there's like there's police everywhere. It's so if you guys happen to be in Bogota on Sunday, I would really recommend Definitely this come, come. place. Yeah, it's like right in La Candelaria, which is a really, a really... Part of the historic district. In La Candelaria, you find all the cultures, museums, uh, all the museums are just here. And yeah. here you have the history even from the beginning, from the Spanish, everything. They say that La Candelaria has like the most hostel per square meters yeah. in the whole Bogota. I don't know, somebody just threw like spit in my face in the middle of the street. Some fat guy just like spit all over the side of my face. You wanna go come in a store by the show? Is that coming in a store out here? I have no idea how far this street goes, but I swear it's like never ending. How about all this stuff? Like trip, trip stuff? Kind of like shop? second hand, uh, like a thrift shop, right? Trip shop, yeah. Yeah, so they have like towards this side of it, it's a lot of thrift things like mm -hmm. second hand stuff, clothes, shoes, electronics, oh. different things like that. It's really long, guys. So now we are walking back on the same path to get to the plaza and then we will explore La Candelaria. Trying to get some food. There's like really just a lot of snacks here for street food. There's nothing really filling. Oh, the blood! The blood here flies so low. Other than a <laughs> cheeseburger, and I don't really. I didn't come all the way to Colombia to get a cheeseburger. Yeah, of course so. not. So the thing is, like, what I just realized here. So I just try to fill stuff. But the thing I realized here is that, like, a lot of people, a lot of people here ride a bicycle, and they have separate lanes for the bicycle, which 
I like even I, on normal sidewalks, not just this street. Like they're everywhere, just strict lanes for bikes. Sad. And they yeah. whistle at you if you're in the way. <laughs> yeah, I made mistake the whole time on the first day, walking on the lanes that is specifically for the biker. But I don't know back then. But now I start to realize. The fruit. The fruit. The fruit. I'm hiding. I know I tried. It tastes like what? Kamu Kamu? It's like a really bitter strawberry. Bitter strawberry? Yeah, like a really bitter strawberry. Let's try. But it's really creamy. The ice cream's really creamy. Uh, not my favorite. This is Coca chocolate. I might like chocolate. That's really good. <laughs> like a Coca chocolate. That's really good. Uh -huh. I think it's coconut. Ah. Coconut. Coconut. And chocolate. It's literally the best ice cream I've no. ever had. Oh, good. And the money that you pay support her in the background. Support them. Funny, I'll eat you. Get some. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit on oh, my head. Man. Oh, my God. What did you do? Go wash your shit. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't in your head. It's a sign of good luck, is it? Yeah. What? Good luck? It's a sign of good luck. Oh, yes. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go uh, wash our hands first. Oh, my God. Good luck. So this is the sign. I guess it's good luck. Hola. Uh, do you have salsa? P pica. 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 Gracias. And I order uh, queso empanada. Sure. Empanada queso. I think, right? I don't know. We will see. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Ten out of ten. Bang, 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 bang. It's got a kick to it. It's really good together, right? Let's try a little bit. The cushion is in it too, right? Oh, honey. Honey mm. and chili? Honey and chili. And in general, I really like La Candelaria. The neighborhood of La Candelaria is very historic looking. Full of like souvenir restaurants. Color, colorful buildings. It's really pleasant to walk there. It's really nice. All right, so this is a game here in Mexico called Tejo, right? T E J O. We actually have Steve back in the video. Hey, what's up, everybody? And so basically, you throw this stone across the room, and you play Colombian beer pong, and you have to hit. <laughs> This metal ring right here, and in these little triangles are actually gunpowder. So if Steve wants to throw it at it, you can watch it explode. But it explodes to make a really loud boom. <laughs> to me, are you kidding me? But it's completely free to play, but you just buy beer and you stay here and play. It's amazing. I mean, beer's like 3,500. 3,500 pesos. And you can play, for beer? You can play as long as you want. It's really hard. When, when you look at people playing, you are like, oh my god, that's easy. I can hit all of them. No. <laughs> it's quite like, difficult. Oh my god, you go this way. She's going to get it right now. Watch. She's, She's getting, getting better. Ready? Go this way. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Almost. Full time. 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 Full time.